I'm with Phil Govan of SysLive. Phil, hi. Hello. What technology trends are you expecting to see at IBC this year? Well, I think it's going to be a continuation of some, some of the things we've seen bubbling up over the past two or three years. Um, certainly, ultra-high definition is something that, that's, that's taken off in our sector, the broadcasting sector, in terms of contributions. It's been very significant for us going forward. And we, as, uh, along with several other organizations, have had to retool technology in order to, to, to meet that demand. So I think that's something we're going, only going to see increasing. Um, remote production also, which is a direct influence on, on our contribution side of things. I think uh, at some point we were looking at three, four years ago when people started to talk about remote production, it was seen as being the perfect solution for the crown jewel events, for the Olympics and the World Cup, etc. And I think we've seen that perhaps the reverse has come, where it's emerged through lower tier sporting events particularly, and is, is uh, gaining ground in these areas. We're finding the major broadcasters still see value in sending a great many people to, to the big events where they've invested so much money and time and rights. Mm. I'd like to talk about your AnyLive network. Now, that's, this is your contribution network, is it? It is. Yeah, okay. it is. And you've expanded it recently to additional um, sporting and entertainment venues in the UK. Do you see further room for expansion, or is it an international uh, option in the future? Well, I think both of those. Uh, it's growing all the time, and uh, we have, we're looking at it in terms of, obviously, the uh, sporting events and major venues. Uh, to a degree, uh, a lot of the major event, uh, venues are, are covered, but we're seeing expansion into uh, the entertainment venues as well. And, and it's interesting that you, you talk in about international contribution. We, along with some of our global transmission partners, are, are very keen to, to partner there. And I think you'll find that there's very few organizations have a total global solution which is not dependent upon partners. But we certainly see growth there and we will be looking to work with partners in that area. Your um, AnyLive fiber infrastructure is well established and we've been talking about broadcast users of it. Do you see users in other industries becoming interested in the capabilities? Well, I do. And uh, I think one of the things which separates the broadcasting uh, industry away from others is it's, it's very high demand in terms of, of packet loss and stability of service. And that critical connectivity, which is the strap line for any life, can certainly be spread across uh, other industries who are looking for that, that faultless delivery of service. And you'll be meeting those people on booth 1.C55. Let's get the plug in very quickly. Um, other than that, what else are you looking forward to doing in IBC this year? Well, as you probably know, I'm relatively new to CIS. This is uh, just completed three, three months there. And uh, I'm very excited to be taking our, our new services and developing products. We're still very much a satellite business as well as fibre. And uh, I, I'm talking to people about how their business is being changed and how, how developments will affect our business going forward because we're always evolving. Terrific. Thanks very much. Enjoy your first IBC in that case, and I'll see you in September. It's a pleasure. Thank you.